guys, welcome to this little CCB video blog. I'm outside. Premier One Credit Union has absolutely nothing to do with the blog except the fact Ash need to come here to do some business. Then we're going to Bass Pro Shops, and then we're going to a new, well, to me, a new tackle shop I've never been to, Coyote Bait and Tackle. So this blog is sort of a, uh, a shopping blog. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I'm gonna get at Bass Pro, and then a lot of it's probably gonna be showing Ash because he goes nuts. For you tackle junkies that want to see people buy a lot of baits, this might be a good show. Supplied by Ash. Uh, talk to you when we get to uh, one of the two locations. All right, guys, we're at destination number one. I guess we're going to Bass Pro Shops first. And uh, I don't know if they're having some of their sale or not, but uh, if you can see, if you look around me, it's pretty darn full. Well, I think I might go check and see if any of those fish are still there from last time. Hope they all got eaten by the birds. All right, guys, I'm here checking out the uh, pond. Last time I was here, somebody put in a whole bunch of bluegill and green sunfish, but uh, looks like the uh, birds, the gray heron and the crane show up. And looks like they cleaned it out again. But eventually people will put more fish in here. I guess it's time to go inside and shop. Alrighty guys, we're entering the world of Bass Pro Shops. The Grand Foyer. All right, guys, that's one of the first things I got to get. I need some flicking heads. I'm looking for them down here. Oh, wait, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. I think. No, nope. I'm looking for the 1 8. 3 16. There we go. I, I think that one's in the wrong spot there. Let's see. Ah, where's the 1 8? And where's the one I want? I'm looking for the cheaper one with the. Uh, Got the little uh, not metal guards. All right, give me a sec. I got to investigate this more. All right, guys, I found them. It's these ones right here. Those ones right there. Weedless wacky head. Usually, you know, I use my own flickum jig heads that I get from my place where I get all my other baits. But I got a gift card from here, and I don't have time to do the order. And you know, without a job, still, I'm on a budget. So since I have a gift card. I'm going to get a couple of these 8 ounce from here. So that's the first thing I'm getting. I don't know where Ash went. Alright, now I found the second thing I need. If they have it. Because for some reason they're always out of these things right here. See that mosquito hook? Number two mosquito hook owner. Best drop shot hook ever. I'm telling you. The best. Number two mosquito hook. But I'm betting they don't have it. My secret must be out. Because every time I come in here and look, I can never find them. Oh, there we go. I found them in the red, guys. Found them in the red. Now, they're out of number two in anything but the red. The red works. Yeah, that's the hook right there, guys. Best drop shot hook right there. Owner mosquito hook number two. I always tell you guys, now I'm showing you. Maybe you'll listen when I'm in a Bass Pro shops and I tell you which is the best hook for drop shot. It's that right there. All right, guys, that's the second thing I needed. I think I'm, I'm pretty much just getting terminal tackle. Stuff that I can't get at my local Walmart. Uh, there's one more thing, and I'm going to show you a tip about a tip. I'll come back when I find it. Ash's choice here. I'm trying to figure out if it's the same bait. Looks the same. Why, do they say they're different, or different packaging? Different packaging, and the color is different. It makes it kind of look like the bait's different. No, I think it's the same bait. Alright, well, he's getting some hard baits. I think I know where the next thing I want is. It's actually over there. I just got to uh, figure out which one I need. Back to Ash and say. I've been telling you guys this and complaining about that tourney special rod. This is what I need for it. I need a tip with a ceramic insert. That's the tip about the tip. If you buy the tourney special, I love it. It's just the uh, stainless steel insert on the tip is soft and it gets grooves in it. So they're great rods except for the tip. The rest of it down it, they don't really get grooves in them but the tip. So if you buy the tourney special, get a nice ceramic tip. I just got to figure out which size fits that rod. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure that out and then come back and tell you which one I'm gonna purchase. Might be this one and they're out of it. All right, I, I still gotta find somebody to talk to about those tips. I found Ash over here. With, is this stuff you're getting? He's looking at the net bait, uh, the baby pecker craw. Looks like he's got a bunch of them. He's looking at them. Some different colors here, Alabama craw, 
Costa Special. Kind of a green, red. I have a light right behind me. That's probably perfect. Oh, he's got another color here. Mm. This is a natural craw. So that's what he's looking for. And I gotta go find something so I can figure out my tip. This is truly a go to bait. And it's so surprisingly, when you're throwing a bait like this 360, the idea, cast it out, turn the reel handle. Alright, I gotta find something about tip. I'm getting distracted. All right, well, I got the kind of help I got the last time. And that was, you just kind of have to eyeball it unless you measure it. So what I'm going to do is try and find an attorney special rod. Then I bring the rod over and look. All right, guys, I can't find the rod. So I'm just going to go with, I don't think it's the smallest. I think it's going to be this one. That one looks too big. Uh, I don't know, I think this is it. It looks like the size. I think that might be it for me. I said just a few essentials that I can't get at my local shops in my area. Uh, Ash is still looking, so I told you, he's the one that's gonna be the tackle junkie, the one that's gonna get a lot of stuff. Just a little bit of stuff. All right, Ash is still over here in the uh, soft plastic section. Just looking at some uh, Gary Yamamoto baits. The five inch DTH grub. It's kind of like a hula grub. I said, I pretty much got what I'm gonna get here. We'll do an update with Ash and when he gets here. Once he gets all this stuff finalized, I'm just gonna go wander around for a bit. The hell of fish is that? Sturgeon. No, right there. Oh, the straight right bass. There, Jesus. Big sturgeon going by. Always gotta get shots of the fish when you're here. Those are the two that he got that are not available. I showed you earlier. Evidently, you can't. Can't get them at Tackle Warehouse, or Tackle Warehouse doesn't have them. So he's going to pick those up here. Anyway, they're a little bit more money. Now we're just going to head to checkout, and Cody Bait and Tackle isn't that far away. You can want it if you want, babe. Huh. Went in and it was dry, came out and it's all wet. All right, now we're heading to Coyote Bait and Tackle, evidently. Can't wait, I've heard a lot about this place, and I think it's going to live up to the hype. Alright guys, we made it down here. Let's sit right there. Coyote bait and tackle. My very first time being in here. Wow. Fish tanks and stuff. More interesting than I thought. Got a lot of bait and look at the end you get uh, all the drinks. There's apparel in here. We get rod selections. All kinds of boat stuff. Huh. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's the first time I've been in here. It's uh, pretty nice though. Well, I guess this whole wall is uh, it's all the plastics right here. I don't know what Ash is going to get. He's still around this side. Looking at hard baits. Got a lot of stuff for bass. Look at all those whopper ploppers, guys. <laughs> That's whopper plopper heaven right there. All the way down. Look at all their frogs they got here, too. A bunch of frogs. <laughs> the frog section, guys. Look at that. Little rats. Man. Man, oh man, oh man. Yeah, I told you. One of the best places set up for just bass. The other side's all ocean striper stuff, I'm assuming. Yeah, this is all ocean stuff for the most part. That jerk bait selection right there. You want some jerk baits, guys? <laughs> Like every single color that company ever made and size cranks down here. This place is really set up for bass fishing, guys. It's just really loaded. Even the end caps, all the end caps are loaded too. I've been down this side, but the only gambler, missile, you know, reaction, innovation, power bait, zoom, Sanko. Jig selection, huge jig selection. Look at that. You want some jigs, guys? I think they got them in every single color and size. Yeah, they got a few jigs, guys. Spinnerbaits at the end. Bass heaven here, guys. Coyote bait and tackle. Ash found some uh, big jerk baits. What brand is that? Lucky Craft. Oh, those are Lucky Craft? It's freaking amazing. 
Let's see which rods they have. Ugly Stick, Daiwa, Okuma. They got some good quality uh, rods in there, that's for sure. What else you get? Big stuff. This color is not available anywhere I've ever seen it. Magnum what? Sun Fluke? Yeah. The whole fluke section over here. And a huge, of course, swim bait section. Oh, I didn't show you guys the reels. I was down at this end. Yeah, they have a few reels. <laughs> yeah, they got a few reels. Oh, Ash is over here now. We found the Senkos. What you looking at? I don't know, guys. I don't. I'm a little disappointed in the Senko section. I think they could have a few more. <laughs> Obviously, I'm kidding, guys. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty much <laughs> any color you can think of. Yeah, jackal down here. There's all the robo worms. Pretty much got everything in here. Way better selection than a Walmart. Let's just say that. What you getting? Stacking up, guys. Let's see who's getting here. Zoom in the uh, Clark Hill Craw. Kind of like an ox blood, isn't it? Sort of. And what's that one? Purple? Georgia Craw. It's like a Okeechobee, but with the brown on the bottom instead of green. Just getting the big one. Yeah. I guess they have a lot of stuff that's kind of custom here. So A lot of colors that don't show up everywhere else. They get here. It's a place to get some bass baits, that's for sure. I found more of the uh, baby Pekka Craws. What did you say once? Yeah, same. same ones, they're just cheaper. They're a little more expensive than Tackle Warehouse, but they're cheaper than Bass Pro Shops. You guys, I do have everything here. All, all the D-Bombs, the Mikis, Ambler, and... If you're a Tackle Junkie, you wouldn't want to come here. You'd spend like, you'd spend $10,000, I think. It's like Ash is checking out. You only got those few things. I can smell all the garlic right here. Can't see that. Yeah. 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 Alrighty, guys. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys. That was our our little blog about our shopping day. Good day to do it. As you can see, it's raining. Uh, there's heavy winds. Well, not. Yeah, there are. <laughs> Couldn't really feel it here, but uh, that's gonna do it, guys. Thanks for checking out this little blog. Uh, we're gonna take all our baits. And we got about an hour drive back to Monterey. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Please check out uh, all our other shows. And uh, yeah, all right. I already say goodbye. But I'm going to say bye again. Hope you enjoyed it. Check this place out. It's pretty amazing if you're a bass fisherman. Next time. All right. I don't know where this is going to fit in the vlog. Because, again, I've already ended it. But wait, there's more. I think that's what I said last time. We're having uh, Vietnamese. Anyway, barbecue chicken, some rice. Um, okay, the food is good. And uh, now we have more. I'm just trying to eat this part, but, but but look what we got now. That big bowl, he's got his own big bowl. We got that. What is that? I don't know, this is going to be a marathon, man. I think I'm going to have to start a uh, restaurant review. After fishing restaurant review from CCB. All right, I'm going to keep eating. We got a lot of food to go through. Good ending to a shopping day.